is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video where I talk about an assortment of different things. Before I start today's video and give you guys a little preview, I do want to let you know that today's video is pre-recorded because I am currently on vacation. Also, I will not have a video out Monday. Monday is actually my birthday. I know I normally never talk about that aspect of my life because it's not your guys' job to care, but I'm letting you guys know that I'm missing Monday because it's a gift to myself. No, I'm not going to make a vlog. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to get hammered and probably sit on my deck the whole day. Anyway, just figured I'd let you know, and I wanted to let you know that if anything's outdated in this video, it's pre-recorded. Now, as far as a very quick preview of today's video goes, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be updating you on the Madden ratings. We will be trying to complete the Immaculate Grid for the day. We're going to take a look at one of the most impressive pieces of hate mail I've ever received. We'll talk a little bit about the MLB and, of course, probably some other things. You guys know my plugs. I don't have time for that today. Let's get into the video. All right, everybody, so the first thing we're actually gonna do in today's video is go and peek at all the new uniforms that have been revealed for the NFL. Well, all the new ones that I know about because there has been a ton and I'm gonna be honest, they are all awesome. So most recently reviewed, we have the Colts new alternative uniforms. Look at those dirty black helmets. Might give me a reason to actually watch this team. The Seahawks have finally also announced a 1990s throwback. Look at those. I'm a sucker for anything vintage, man, and this reminds me of looking at a TV screen when I was five years old. Also, the Vikings have announced a throwback back to the Randy Moss days. I get it. If you're not from Minnesota, you don't notice a damn difference in this uniform, and I'm not even going to try to explain it. But for the longtime Vikings fans who have wanted these babies to return, we can now rejoice. The only thing we're still waiting on is the Brett Favre uniforms. And then just to assure I don't miss any more, I think these have already been announced, but the Buccaneers creamsicles, my baby Kelly Greens are coming back. I love these. These are my favorite uniform of all time. I already mentioned the Browns in the last video. The Lions have the new helmet. Not sure how much I really like that but it is unique the titans are supposed to reveal something and the broncos will be coming up as well dude i'm all for it every one of these uniforms absolutely cook then moving on, we got a quick piece of news about the Jets and the Lions. They have completed a trade to send Denzel Mims to Detroit. I think it was like a sixth or seventh round pick. Either way, it kind of works out for both sides here. The Lions get another receiver and the Jets got some value for a guy who they were clearly never going to fucking use. Another quick piece of news is that apparently, finally, NFL owners are expected today to approve the sale of the Washington Commanders. I mean, geez, as Christ almighty, is it just me or have we been hearing this for a month straight, two months now? Just do it! And now it's time for me to catch you guys up on the Madden 24 rating so far. So as of today, which is still Thursday, they're starting to roll out the top 10 tight ends. However, they're not giving us the actual ratings. They're just giving us, you know, catching traffic and stuff. They'll make us wait till like noon or some stupid shit. And then they've also already released now two corners, which is Jalen Ramsey and Jair. Jalen's a 97, Jair's a 95. Clearly Thursday's batch of players will be corners and tight ends. Friday's will be quarterbacks and linebackers. But now we're going to react to two sets of players that were released on Wednesday that I haven't gotten to go through with you guys. And that's offensive linemen and running backs. So top 10 O linemen number Number one, we got Zach Martin at a 99. Number two is Trent Williams at a 98. Number three is Lane Johnson at a 98. Number four is Laramie Tunsil at a 95. Number five is Chris Lindstrom at a 93. Then at six is Joel Bettino at 92. Tristan Wirfs at a 92. Quentin Nelson at a 92. Jason Kelsey at a 92. And number 10 is Andrew Thomas at a 92. Look, O-linemen, I don't really have a lot to bitch about. There is two on here that I would slightly bump up, and that's Tristan Wirfs and Jason Kelsey. But otherwise, I don't have a lot of beef with this because they're O-linemen. However, we will not look at the top 10 running backs, and these I do have some complaints about. So number one in the game is Nick Chubb at 97, and he deserves to be number one in the game, but 97's too low. This guy's the definition of a 99. Number two is CMC at 96. I like it. Number three is Josh Jacobs at 95. I like it. Number four is Derrick Henry at 94. That one I don't understand. He dropped like four points for no reason. Like, what the fuck? Number five is Saquon at 93. That's good. Six is Delvin at 91. That's good. Seven is Eckler at 89. That's insane. Like, why will they not give him a 90? I don't get it. Eight is JT at an 89. I knew they were going to shaft him. Nine is Tony P at 88. I actually like that rating. However, 10 is Aaron Jones at 88, and I disagree with that as well. He should be much higher. What's even more comical is if you look at the overall running backs at 11 through 20, notice how we're still not seeing Ramondre Stevenson. He literally got an 80 overall. 
Like, I'm sorry to sound like a hater, guys, but this game already is starting off the worst way possible. These ratings are absolute dog. Look at TJ Watt. He's a 94 overall. These stupid son of a bitches gave Aaron Donald a 99 when the guy only played 11 games and had five sacks. Yet TJ Watt is a 94? Like, dude, I, it, that's bad this year. It's really bad. Hassan Reddick at a 90, Matt Judon 89. Like, this is just shit. But the one good thing it might bring, guys, is actual change. So I guess we have that going for us. Next up, we'll be taking a look at one of the most impressive pieces of hate mail I've ever received. I tweeted it out, but this Titans fan said, why the fuck do you hate us? Damn, the Titans hate is unreal. Can't blame Wyatt though, quote unquote, King Henry and D-Hop on the same team. Gotta sound scary for Bills fans. Ton of emojis. Keep the hate coming, Wyatt. Titans fans are loving it. Tighten the fuck up, baby. You are just one of those people who listen to the media and in reality have no fucking idea what's going on. Then linked a video that he expected me to click on, sent me five middle fingers, said, watch it, don't be scared, it'll prove you're wrong, and then had the audacity to say, I want an apology video. I won't dox his email, even though I should, but uh, Zach, you made my day, because that was some of the funniest shit I've ever read. I'm not gonna apologize to a fucking thing, and I hope you cry so hard your phone gets water damage, you little bitch. And now ending the NFL for today, we are gonna try and complete the Immaculate Grid. I have been doing these on Twitch recently and I've been getting better at them, so I don't wanna hear no shit. All right, so we got the Bengals, the Bucks, the Seahawks, the Giants, the Cardinals, and 10 plus receiving touchdowns in a season since 1999. Tyler Lockett for the Seahawks, baby. Why don't we go Big Mike Evans? I'm gonna go AJ Green, just to be different. All right, doing good. Now we need to find players. Cardinal and a Bengal is uh, Carson Palmer. This is... JPP, at least I'm 95.7,000% certain. Okay, I'm right. This is G Gino. Gino is a giant, right? Yeah. Hey. Okay, I think I'm gonna give up now and I'm, I'm gonna be pissed because I know that there's an old lineman who's played on both the Hawks and the Cardinals, but I don't know his name. Oh shit, AP, I didn't even think about that. Blaine Gabbard and Eli Apple, fuck. Those weren't even hard. All right, now we'll hop into the MLB really quick because I want to vent more about the Twins. They're elite again. Actually, they'll probably lose the game on the day that I'm recording this video, which would be the last game against the Mariners, but we just won two games against them. Our team is scoring runs again. We are 50 and 47, and we are a freight train coming for the World Series. You know how many fucking times I've switched back and forth between this and I hate this fucking team this year? I mean, honestly, it's probably been 10. It sucks ass, man. It's even a miracle that we won last night because Kent Maeda mowing people down, and guess what Rocco Baldelli did? Pulled his ass out at 80 pitches. Stupid son of a bitch. I just want to see this team win one playoff game not even a series just a game one so uh go twins and ending this video i'm gonna be giving my thoughts on Gideon's latest antic i don't know if i should be laughing at this or not but i'm definitely going to and i apologize for people who don't know who Gideon is he's a youtuber and he does a lot of crazy things like most recently where he was caught sleeping at a wnba game <laughs> Drama Alert claims that Gideon was banned from all NBA events after being kicked out from this and he even got randomly threatened with an NFL band at the end of the latest video for the sleeping stunt. Okay, guys, look at the two females right behind him who are laughing at him. They're literally pointing their things at him and laughing at him. Like, I get what he did was degrading to the sport of women's basketball, but the fact that he had the balls to do that courtside next to the coach, like, that's fucking funny, man. And even two females were laughing at the fact of it, too. But at what expense? Because he can never go to an NBA event again and possibly the NFL. And that, to me, would not be worth it at all. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for today's video. And I'm going to make this outro quick as well so I can get this edited and get my ass on the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Show me any support. And as always, I will see you in the next upload, which will be on Tuesday.